Ori's Kitchen and I'm Ori. So today I'm going to be making you a type of barrecas, which I already made um, with potatoes and spinach and apple. Um, this barrecas, which is with made out of this um, dough, I'm stuffing it with meat. And, and you could put some hard boiled eggs and make it all fancy looking when you're cutting it up for your guests. So let's get started. Now before we do, remember I'm not a professional chef or cook. So if some things are a little bit unclear, I'm sorry. But once again, I'm right around the corner. Just message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, Gabby, come over here. Okay, so I got this here, brand new. And you guys can, you literally, oh, these are my kids. You guys can literally go on YouTube and check me out here. And while you're cooking, you can watch me. So it's like right here in the kitchen, guys. So some advertisement <laughs> for a Samsung right here or Google, okay? All right, so let's get started here. Okay, so I have my about a pound of half turkey and half um, beef barrecas. Okay, let's turn on some light here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of my pre-made um, fried onions with minced garlic. Now you guys don't have it, no, no biggie. You can go and buy it from a Persian market, Middle Eastern market, the fried onion. Just add minced garlic to it yourself. Or you could quickly make it right now and dump it in here, okay? So I'm gonna add a little bit left here so i'm just going to add that i would say about two tablespoons of that in one pound and that's my oven guys so we're going to set it at 400 degrees fahrenheit but we'll get there in a minute so back to this so we got our ground meat our fried onion and now you're going to add a little bit of your tomato sauce okay that gives it a bit of a flavor now you can go, you know, put as you go. So right now I just put about two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Any type of tomato sauce that you have, Hans, or even the one from Trader Joe's is just fine. Now you can add different types of things in here, okay? It's kind of like a meatloaf, but not really, okay? And I'm, hopefully I'll show you how to make meatloaf next time. So I got my just regular corn, canned corn in here. I'm gonna dump some corn inside of here as well. Again, these are optional. You don't necessarily have to make corn, put corn in there, okay? And then you can add mushrooms to it too, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and shred the mushrooms with this my shredder and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there is my minced mushroom there, shredded mushroom, okay? And I'm gonna add in my usual, my chicken consomme to add some flavor to it, okay? Now remember, add a, little, add a little bit as you go because if you add too much, it can get salty, okay? So we add that, then I'm gonna be adding some garlic powder, sprinkle some garlic powder, okay? Even though you have minced garlic, add some garlic powder to it too. We're gonna to be adding some paprika, Yummy, yummy. Then we're also gonna be adding some turmeric. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then all you do is, um, we're also gonna add some eggs to it, okay? So let me get my cup, crack an egg, okay? Give it a mix. Now, I'm gonna pour a little as I go, the egg is supposed to help it keep the meat together, okay? And we're gonna use a portion of the egg, if we have any left, for the top layer of the dough. And that piece will make it nice and golden brown um, when it's in the oven. So you know what, I'm just gonna be using my hands because it's better mixture. So I'm just gonna give this a nice mix and I'm gonna add stuff to it as I go. Um, don't forget, add some salt and pepper to it as well. And if you know, if I notice that I wanna add more mushrooms or corn or if you guys wanna add some other vegetables in it, you can do so right now. So I'll be back, you guys. Okay guys, welcome back. So here it is. I added a little bit more tomato sauce and some more minced um, 
shredded uh, mushroom. I added more tomato sauce because I just felt like it wasn't enough tomato-y bread in there. Um, but be careful how much you add. So I would say I added about four teaspoons of tomato sauce. So now I got my puff pastry sheet. Gabby, take a shot of that. So I opened it up. This is what I use like on my other episodes as well. Make sure you get the Pepper Fish Puff Pastry Sheets, okay? And then it comes in a package like this. You open it up, you cut a piece of dough that you want, um, shape any way you want it. There's directions on the back on how to defrost it. Just follow that, okay? So I'm just gonna go put this back in the freezer. Okay, so I got a little bit of a sample here and what you're gonna do is now there's different ways you can make it you can just put a whole big bunch here on your dough or i got my um hard boiled eggs there and you want to make it a little bit fancier let's say you're making it for your guests and when they cut it up they'll get a piece of that egg in there too and it'll look really cute okay so kind of flatten it out and just gotta, you know, you might have to take a little piece out and stuff like that. Now you can cut, put the egg in whole, whole, or you can, for example, I'm gonna cut mine in half, cut yours in half and place it like so. And I have room for one more half. So I'm gonna put that in, see? Put it in like that, so pretty. And then I'm gonna put another on this side like so okay all right so let's see how this is gonna look okay just like you each time i make it it turns out differently um so we just got it. Now this is dough. You can easily stretch it out. Okay, guys? Stretch the dough out. Okay, now if it's not stretchable, that means it's still a bit cold. So you need to leave it out in room temperature until it gets doughy like this. Now, when it gets really doughy, it's really hard to make it, open it up in the from the package. So when that happens, like in a direction, it says put it back in the refrigerator or in the freezer, let it get cold again, okay? So you guys see what I did there? I just stretched it out so that it's fully covered. So I have like a layer, I have a layer of the meat, the egg, and then the meat on top of it again. And again, you don't have to do the egg, you can just put the meat alone, okay? So then when you cut it up, you'll see the egg, it looks really cute, okay? So then I got my, uh, aluminum nonstick foil and again if you guys don't want to use a foil that's totally cool you guys can use parchment paper as well okay so I'm gonna go ahead I still have some more meat left over so I'm gonna make one more of this and I'll be right back guys hey guys welcome back so ta-da! so I got it all ready this one I decided not to put eggs in it for just for me so I can take to work tomorrow so um so there you go now I have the rest of the egg wash so i'm just going to get my handy dandy brush and brush it along everywhere this will help it give it a nice golden brown color and just have everything nice and clean and cooked and everything um and as you again look at my other episodes i have my um bread cuts with the cheese and spinach my potato a yummy apple one great for dessert um, it's kind of like, what is it? Apple pie, apple strudel, right, Gabby? Something like that. Mm -hmm. So those are great, great things to serve for your friends and family. Um, you can make it and take it for your coworkers and show your natural skills, okay? So I'll, now I also like to put sesame seeds. This is optional. It makes it all nice and pretty. It gives it a little bit of a sesame flavor when you're taking a bite out of this thing as well, okay? So that's it guys, so I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Remember at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I put it in, it's gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes for it to get ready. And you also know when the top part is golden brown, you know that it's ready to go, okay? So we'll be back in a few. See ya. 
Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been about 30 to 40 minutes that my um, bread cast was ready. So Gabby, come and try to get a close up for me. So you guys, you see it's a little hot here. You see it, it released liquid, that's totally fine. It actually gives more flavor to the dough and everything, okay? So just let it do its thing while it's cooking. And you know, it's kind of the fat and stuff too. So it's fine, that's great, that's what we want. So, <clears throat> I want to try and cut a piece of where the egg was. Oh yeah, yeah baby, look at that guys. Okay, I'm gonna I'll switch hands here. Bring it over to my plate. <laughs> okay guys, so we see the steam, I hope. It's nice and hot for you, okay? So, Gabby, sorry, I'm going fork. Okay. <clears throat> so, take a good close look, you guys. Look, there's your egg. There's the two layers of the meat. Now, again, you can put a whole egg in there instead, and it'll look nice, too. So, this is something you can do, or you can just do no egg at all, okay? So, um, yummy, smells great. So, let's cut a piece off. Yeah, it's a bit messy, guys, but it's delicious. And it's great for guests and your friends and, you know, um, just to have for dinner or something like that, okay? Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Hi, guys, really hot. Okay, so I have the bit of the egg in it, the meat, the meat in it. It's not like just meat, you know. You can taste the onions in it. You can taste, yeah, you can taste the onions in it. You can taste the garlic and all that stuff that you put in it. Now you can make it, and the next time you may say, "Oh, I want to add this and this to it." That's fine. Um, see, there's the piece of the. There's the corn, guys. And then there's the, the mushroom as you open it up, okay? You guys can add um, fresh dill if you want. That'd be really yummy. You can add cilantro in it. That'd be really yummy. So there's different ways of making things, okay, to make this type of meal. It just depends on what you want to do. I mean, hello, you guys are the cook. This is your kitchen. So there's so many different ways. This is one way that I made it, but this is a good idea for presentation with the egg inside. Okay, guys. So I this is how you make barrecas with meat or meat barrecas. Okay, um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed doing them, watching me make this. And please, any of the things that you make, I would really appreciate if you guys take a picture and send it to me so I can give you guys a shout out. Okay, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.